students in this class we are going to learn one problem in relation to wholesale brand system already we solved a problem like this in part 10 in that problem opening stock and closing stock both are not given but in this problem opening stock is given closing stock we have to ascertain before learning about the wholesale brand system we should know about two terms namely what is list price what is invoice price yes look at the board head office sends goods to branch at invoice price the branch sells goods to customers at list price at the same time the head office also sells goods to customer directly in list price so head office sells goods to customer at list price the branch also sells goods to customer at list price so the customer price called a list price okay now we'll read the problem with the help of that problem we can ascertain list price and invoice price yes head office sends goods to its branch at 25% lesser than listed price so our invoice price is 25% less than the listed price yes so list price minus 25% will get invoice price then goods are sold to customer at cost plus 60% so the customer price list price is given that is cost plus 60% always cost is always cost is 100 so the profit is 60 so the list price is 160 now we ascertain the list price branch sells goods to its customer at the cost plus 60% cost is always 60 the profit is given 60% so the list price is 160 head office also sells goods to its customer at the same list price now the head office sends goods to its branch at invoice price that we know list price minus 25% we know the list price 160 minus 25% that is 40 so our invoice price is 20 so our list price is 160 our invoice price is 120 one thing you should remember the head office cost price is 100 head office cost price is 100 the branch invoice price is considered to be the cost price of branch so branch cost price also we should consider at 120 yes now we will continue the problem from the following particular ascertain the profit made by head office and by the branch head office information and branch information are given opening stock at cost at invoice price in case of branch opening stock of head office 50,000 branch 30,000 purchases made by the head office no purchase made by the branch goods sent to branch 108,000 sales head office sales 160 branch sales 80,000 the expenses of head office 10,000 expenses of branch is 6,000 we have to prepare trading profit and loss account we should have two column namely head office and branch okay this is trading account the first part is trading account the second point part is profit and loss account the basic format is opening stock debit side uh, trading account debit side opening stock purchases in credit side sales and closing stock now we will start opening stock of head office 50,000 opening stock of head office is 50,000 opening stock of branch is 30,000 then purchases of uh, head office 1,50,000 there is no purchase of branch then goods sent to branch it is a sale to head office purchase of branch yes by goods sent to branch one lakh eight thousand recorded in the head office trading account credit side the same value goods received from goods received from head office how much uh, 108000 should be recorded in the debit side of trading account of branch then sales of head office 160000 
the sales of branch 80000 already we learned sales to customer at list price that is 160 goods sent to branch at 120 now one more information is given expenses it should be debited to the profit and loss account two expenses so expenses of head office 10000 expenses of branch 6000 now we have to ascertain the closing stock of head office and branch now i am going to teach you the calculation of closing stock first we will find closing stock of head office the formula is opening stock opening stock of head office 50000 add purchases add purchases made by the head office 150000 so total stock available 2 lakh of which we have to deduct cost of goods sold cost of goods sold the head office sale value 1 lakh 60000 1 lakh 60000 sold at 160 invoice price the head office cost price already i said 100 so 1 lakh 60000 1 lakh 60000 divided by 160 into 100 will get a cost of goods sold its value 1 lakh then we have to deduct cost of goods sent to branch cost of goods sent to branch so the cost of goods sent to uh, total value of the goods sent to branch is 1 lakh 8000 it is invoice price its value 120 the head office cost price is 100 so 1 lakh 8000 divided by 120 into 100 will get 90000 so add opening stock and purchase of head office deduct cost of goods sold and the cost of goods sent to branch if you deduct these two you will get one value that is closing stock of head office yes 2 lakh 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 90000 so our closing stock of head office is 10000 that we'll record in the credit side of trading account of head office now students let me calculate the closing stock of branch yes now i am going to calculate the closing stock of branch closing stock of branch the formula is opening stock of branch value 30000 opening stock of branch 30000 add goods received from head office 108000 so the total available goods 1,38,000 deduct cost of goods sold deduct cost of goods sold the sales of branch is 80,000 its sale price is 160 the branch invoice price is 120 that its cost is yes. 80,000 divided by 160 multiplied by 120 you will get 60,000 that is cost of goods sold of branch so balance 78000 that is closing stock of branch now we will balance the trading account now we will balance the trading account first we will close head office column 160000 plus 10000 plus 108000 278000 278000 minus 2 lakh so gross profit of head office is 78,000 that is gross profit of head office it should be transferred to profit and loss account then we have to close branch account trading account so 80,000 plus 78,000 so 1 lakh 58,000 branch account trading account credit side total 1,58,000 so 1,58,000 minus 30,000 minus 1,8,000 so the gross profit of the branch 20,000 it should be transferred to profit and loss account then we have to take stock reserve on opening stock of branch as well as 
on closing stock of branch first we will take stock reserve on the opening stock of branch it will be taken in the profit and loss account credit side it should be recorded in the head office column yes stock reserve stock reserve or we can say loading opening stock value 30000 so branch cost price is branch cost price is 120 branch cost price is 120 the difference between head office cost price and uh, branch uh, invoice price that is 20 that is the profit earned by head office the transaction between head office and branch so 30000 into 20 divided by 120 will get 5000 it should be recorded in the head office column not in the branch account column likewise we should take stock reserve on the closing stock of branch it should be recorded in the debit side of profit and loss account in head office column to stock reserve stock reserve the closing stock of uh, branch 78000 invoice price is 120 the profit earned by the head office in relation to transaction with the branch is 20 so 78000 multiplied by 20 divided by 120 will get 13000 it should be recorded in the head office column yes students now we will find the net profit of head office and branch 83,000, 83,000 minus 83,000 minus 23,000. So, head office net profit is 60,000. Head office net profit is 60,000. No CD and BD for uh, net profit, yes. Next, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000 minus 6,000. 14,000. So the branch net profit is 14,000. Head office net profit is 60,000. Students, we solved two problems in relation to wholesale branch system. In next class, we will solve different problem. Till then, bye and thank you.